black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, I randomly tracked down this delicious loaf of bread yesterday. It's a sourdough with sesame seeds. Very, very nice. I wanna make a nice, delicious, like quick, just impromptu grilled cheese, but candied bacon, a couple different cheeses, and maybe some pepper jelly on there. And then I saw this in the store. <laughs> True Canadian, but I really, it's just cream of broccoli. It's so good. I'm too lazy to make it myself. Ultimately, just wanted a nice, quick, fancy grilled cheese and a quick, simple soup to dip it in. So let's get into this. Candy bacon. I got some strips of thick cut bacon here, full length, but I think I'm just going to snip them in half before we toss. We got some authentic. Thunder Bay Canadian maple syrup. Look at this guy, chilling. Beardman out in the woods, doing his thing. Very Canadian, we're adding it in. Ooh, let that sugar drip all over it. Okay, I'm just gonna give these a quick toss and a coat. Try to individualize each slice and get it fully covered with the syrup. Nice even coating on each. All right, parchment paper in the basket down to the bottom. And then we're gonna lay these slices in. This is why I cut them, just so that they can fit into here. And they'll work better on the sandwich too, but we lay our slices into the parchment. All right, drizzle the last bit of this maple syrup all over the top. And then we are gonna pepper these. So a hefty amount of pepper, sweet and spicy. Pop these in the air fryer. All right, we're gonna go in at 400 for, oh, I don't know, 15, 20, let's see. All right, we got this candied bacon after 18 minutes. Ooh, that's, oh, and it's sticking, okay. Nicely cooked, pepper, candied, delicious. All right, let's bring our base in, here we go. And so I've got mozzarella and old cheddar that I'm just going to intermittently mix and lay out together in a nice thick fashion here. One, so, so one is melty and one is like sharp cheddar flavorful. That's what I'm looking for in this. How are we gonna lay this bacon? I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna bite it, how it's gonna come on. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's lay it like this. We, also, we always have to consider the biting and the architecture of the bite. Is it gonna pull the bacon? Which way is it gonna pull? But this bacon is going to be, I think, just so amazing. And that's just it. We're just going to keep it real simple. I think the best grilled cheeses are nice and simple like this. All right, nice soft butter in all these nooks and crannies all across. All right, pop this on low and slow. I like to toast mine low and slow so we get melty cheese and don't burn the exterior. So. Pop that pan on. Mine in immediately so that it slowly comes up together to temp. Once we get that situated, then you come and butter this side, of course. That's the trick. Put a nice press on this. Okay, let's try this method. We'll see what happens here. I don't know what's gonna occur, but I'm intrigued to know, to see. I want cheese on the exterior of one side. All right, the cheese kind of fried essentially. I wanna lay this onto that. Press it down in for a bit here. All right, moment of truth, let's see if this works. I think it did. Just gotta get it to lift. A nice mozzarella cheese crisp. Oh yeah. Should have spanned the whole thing, but definitely got a nice little extra crusty flavor saver on there. Are we melting? Ooh, we are melting. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be real, real nice. Okay, let's get this over to the cutting station. All right, let's go. What are we working with? Let's go ahead and chop this guy down the center. Internal reveal. Okay, okay, I see what we're doing here. Looking real good. Let's get into this with a bite of soup and a bite of this. I wanna spoon this on, the red pepper jelly. Let's get it. All right, y'all, just a quick casual vid today. Tis my birthday today, actually, and uh, this is just like lunchtime right now. I just wanted to make like a, kind of just a small, easy, quick meal, and then I have a B-Day dinner tonight. 
but uh, I was craving a wild grilled cheese because I found this bread at this pizza shop, this local pizza shop that I'll have to go try one day uh, called Both Hands. And he makes like oven fired uh, breads and pizzas. So I'll have to try that eventually. But this is what I was craving. Red pepper jelly, the best on this two cheese rustic bread with these sesame seeds the candied pepper bacon toasted up with the burnt cheese on the exterior let's go oh man Wow. That is amazing. I just realized I screwed up too. Hold on a sec. I fully meant to have goat cheese in this too. Such a rookie error, but I'll add some now. It'll still be good. It's like room temp. All right, now we're ready. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, come on. Pepper jelly. She's already melted. Man. Grilled cheeses on good rustic bread. Just hits so different, okay. Go ahead and fix this one. A bunch of goat cheese in there. A bunch of goat cheese in there now. And we got our cream of broccoli soup for a dip. this it's too good but yeah, I just want to hit y'all with a Quick and easy deluxe grilled cheese while I'm starving. Mm. Definitely try this. The flavor combos unmatched. All right, see you in the next one.